Hey, it's Justin again here with uh, my last review for uh, the movies I had seen on s this Sunday, uh, November um, 25th, I believe. Yeah, 25th. Um, Rise of the Guardians, I just literally saw like less than an hour ago. Um, Rise of the Guardians is about the four uh, main fantasy holiday creatures, you know, you got Hugh Jackman playing the voice of the Easter Bunny Kangaroo, as uh, Jack Frost likes to call him. You got Sandman, uh, voiced by no one. You got the Tooth Fairy, voiced by Izelle Fisher. And, um... Russian Santa Claus, voiced by Alec Baldwin, and Jack Frost, direct, uh, voiced by Chris Pine. Now, um, Rise of the Guardians is about the four main fantasy creatures, like I said, uh, faced against fear, or pitch black, as he likes to be called, voiced by Jude Law. Fear, pitch black, is mad about being cast in the shadows, how everybody loves Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, Sandman, and he just wants everybody to know him. He doesn't want anybody else to know about um, the other four, and so he devises a plan to put fear into everybody, every child's uh, dreams, so essentially nightmares. Um, the Man on the Moon... Um, is like the boss, I would say, of all the Guardians. He brings a new Guardian, so a fifth member, Jack Frost. Jack Frost is just having fun with his life, and he now is bring th brought through this portal and now has to save the children of the world. Um... It seems like every year there's a new take on Santa. In my opinion, it's getting kind of old. Last year, you know, we had Arthur Christmas, and it was, you know, he had the high-tech sled, and everything was high-tech. This year, we have a fucking Russian Santa Claus. Come on now. Russian Santa Claus. He, uh... He's wielding these swords, and it's kind of... I don't know if it works for children. You know, you would think Santa Claus is a nice person. Yeah, he brings around swords and slices things. I don't know if that actually works. Um, yeah, but everybody seemed different. You know, the Tooth Fairy was actually a fairy that kind of looked like Mother Nature. Uh, the Easter Bunny was an Australian kangaroo. Sandman looked fine. Jack Frost was just a young person. I thought he was kind of an old grumpy person from the older TV shows. And uh, Russian just the Russian Santa Claus. He had naughty and nice tattoos and just had swords. Um, but the animation was really good. Um, it was fast paced. Um, it was just the, uh, it was distributed by DreamWorks, you know, who makes Shrek, How to Train Your Dragon, those kind of movies. But uh, the animation was really good. I didn't see it in 3D, but um, the animation was definitely um, worth watching. Um, it was it was different. It felt odd because you know Russian Santa Claus mainly, but um, it seems like these more of these. Uh, weirder holiday movies will be coming out. Um, what I didn't like about the movie as is that the Scott, the plot was kind of scattered. They were focusing on Tooth Fairy for a little bit. They kind of gave up on her. They focused on the Easter Bunny. They fo like they kind of gave up on him. Then they focused on Santa. Then it was Jack Frost. So it was kind of there, 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 there. Uh, Pitch Black was taking things from each person, like the teeth from Tooth Fairy, the um, Easter eggs from the Easter Bunny, presents from Santa. So they just kind of gave up. It was, it felt like it should have been the Avengers of Christmas, but it wasn't just there. 
Um, definitely, DreamWorks not not one of their best movies. Um, you know, it's not like Shrek, How to Train Your Dragon, or uh, Kung Fu Panda, Madagascar. It is. It seems like the Order might get a sequel. You know, you might add a new guardian there, maybe like the Leprechaun or something. But hopefully, it doesn't because I didn't think it was all that great. It was. It's better than some of the kids movies we've had this year, kind of like Hotel Transylvania, but Rise of the Guardians was just not something I was too thrilled about. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, it was kind of slow in the beginning, but the ending was actually pretty good. Uh, the ending, I'm not going to spoil anything, it was just... Um, a cheerful moment, you know, everybody in the theater was clapping, all the kids were having fun. But though the ending was rather predictable, um, if you see the movie, pay attention halfway through and you'll figure out that it is predictable. So yeah, if you uh, have any kids and you're looking to see, see something, definitely check out Rise of the Guardians though, because it was geared towards those kids. Um, and it was just, it was kind of a little fun movie, uh, but I didn't really enjoy it that much. There was some fun parts, you know, the ending was kind of good. That was mostly about it. So yeah, uh, check out Rise of the Guardians if you're into that uh, newer take on uh, holiday classics. So yeah, uh, keep on checking out Just to Watch the Movies and uh, other reviews, uh, Blu-ray updates. And uh, anything else, or anything else you want to watch, um, please subscribe and enjoy the month of December. I know there's a lot of movies, so check out a lot more of my reviews coming out soon. All right, thanks.